Hi, and welcome to my website, guidance to connectcom My name is Michelle Heron, and this week's video is going to be about fear. I'm going to start off with one of my favorite quotes. The cave we fear to enter holds a treasure that we seek. I'm going to talk about my personal experiences with fear, and why it's important to overcome it, and how that I feel that my work is important. Uh, my entire life, I've always been afraid of everything. When I was little, I was afraid of the Easter Bunny. Um, I was afraid of the dark. I was scared to sleep alone, and I always wanted to lay with somebody. I was scared to talk in front of people, and I would make up whole conversations in my head while I was sitting there quiet and think of things that I would have actually said if I wasn't uh, too scared to talk. A big fear I had in life was just the actual feeling of being afraid. I hate how it felt, and I would try to only surround myself around good stuff. But my biggest fear was that if anything was going to happen to me, um, and then my kids would be left behind without my guidance and love, and I wouldn't have uh, reached a successful point in my life. Um, I want success so bad that I could taste it. I wake up every morning and tell myself I'm going to do whatever I have to do to reach my goals. I came across my gift of being an intuitive and being able to hear, see, and feel things. And since I've been working on developing my gift every single day, I'm still scared to actual, actually say the words. And this will be the first time in any of my videos that I've said it. I'm a medium. Um, I think I'm afraid because I'm scared that people will not like me or judge me or think I'm going to hell or think I'm a bad person but my husband put it to me like this he knows in his heart that I'm a good person and I'm going to help people and he supports me and I have a support team around me and I won't throw my pearls before swine so my work is important because death is a part of life that we all have to deal with at some point I'll use my gifts to help people look for answers that they seek I recently did a reading on a gentleman, and I heard the names Mary, Bill, and coaches a sports team. And it turned out that his mom's name was Mary, his father's name was Bill, and his uncle coached a sports team, and they had all passed away. So this is just an example of how I can help you make connections. I know from my years of science and research that energy cannot be created or destroyed. It just changes form. So contact me to help you make these connections. And one thing, um, I still deal with fear, but it's something that I'm really working on. And the irony here is that the thing that scares me the most is one of the goals that I'm pursuing. Most people won't be scared of their own personal goals or dreams in the same way that I am, but they'll still be scared. Think of it like this. Like, a person makes $19,000 a year, but they have the full potential to double and triple that, but they stay stuck where they are because they're comfortable there or they're too scared to go outside of the box and take a chance on themselves. But I'm treating my dreams like seeds. I'll water them daily and watch them unfold. And I make these videos to encourage people to take chances and start with themselves. I've asked everybody in another video to track my progress and pay attention. Contact me. Um, it's my mission in life to make every person that I come into contact with have success and peace. So I'll end this week's video with a short story from the motivational speaker Les Brown. He talks about the Chinese bamboo tree and have, how you have to water it and take care of it for five years. Then after five years, it begins to grow. In five weeks, it grows 90 feet tall. So think about this. When does the growing actually occur? In the five years or in the five weeks? That's something that you just have to kind of figure out for yourself. But treat your dreams uh, the same way, just like a seed that you have to water and take care of every single day. And eventually, they'll show up for you. Thanks again for visiting my website, guidance to connect.com. My name is Michelle Heron, and I will see you next week.